YouTube, Jeremy here with Simple Little Life, and I just want to show you a new video camera I picked up. I got this yesterday, and it is pretty slick, so I'm just going to show you something quick. Before you get all excited and tell me this is a drone, I beg to differ. This is not a drone. This is a flying camera. This is the Phantom 4 uh, by DJI. You may have seen these before. Uh, Casey Neistat. I really like his vlogs. Um, totally different lifestyle. Uh, totally different person than me, but somehow his his content is very interesting actually. He does a good job at making stuff interesting to watch. He's done a lot of stuff with the Phantom 4 and Probably like five or six years ago, I had a drone. It was a Parrot, and it was like $800 at the time. And it was a piece of crap. Like, it, it would always crash. I was always buying motors for it and blades, propellers for it. And the video sucked. It was like 640 or I don't even know. Anyways, fast forward now, the technology has come so far. Um, I used to be a full-time photographer for about three years. DJI has been leading the way uh, for consumer slash prosumer uh, drone flying cameras and the thing I really like about their stuff is that it is a camera. Uh, this shoots full 4K video. Um, it shoots like 1080 and everything from 24 frames a second, 120 frames a second and like 29, 5, 30, 45, 60. This has more settings than my Canon 70D does as far as the video footage format. I'm not going to get out into the specs on it, but it shoots, I think they're 12 megapixel images, which is lots. The only reason you need more megapixels in a camera is if you want to make the picture bigger. 12 megapixels does a very large printed photograph. So people that get carried away and like, oh, 20 some odd megapixels. That's why that megapixel race is kind of plateaued a bit because once you get to the 20 mark and stuff like that, you don't need a lot more, even at a professional level. Unless you're printing billboards, you don't need a billion different megapixels. So I'm gonna just fire this thing up. I didn't buy this for my YouTube channel, although I'm gonna use it here, but I bought this for some other video uh, work that I have going on. Um, I do some other videos for other companies and this was just another tool. I'm not really a tech nerd or tool nerd. I don't love the tool or the tech for the sake of the tool or the tech. I love it for what you can do with it. So I'm going to fire this thing up and I've just spent, uh, I've spent today. I've tried a couple flights with it today and for my absolute novice uh, aerial photography, drone photography, videography, I am just blown away at how simple this is to fly. I let all my kids fly except for my four year old because that might not be good. but. I let my eight-year-old daughter fly this drone and it is really that simple and the features, the functions, it's incredible. I'm not going to get too into the specifics. If you'd like to see maybe some specific uh, video on the drone and some of the capacities and stuff, let me know. I could do a video like that if there's interest on this channel. Having said that, there's a lot of that video. There's a lot of information on YouTube already about it, but I will be using this for some of my videos, um, mostly for some of the other projects I'm working on that aren't part of this channel. But anyways, I just thought this was kind of fun. I'm gonna show you this thing. Alright guys, so I've been waiting for the wind to completely die down, which is probably never going to happen. And it's like, well it's like 9.40 and I really want to get some footage of this thing flying up for you. Right when I put everything together and shot that last little clip, um, I went to turn it on and it said that, oh, you need the uh, firmware updated. So I updated that and by the time I was done updating the firmware, it was like a storm coming on and it rained and poured so it's kind of let up a little bit and just a beautiful night these clouds are insane anyways it's calm enough that i can go ahead and uh i'll go ahead and shoot some uh flight footage for you we have some of the best skies in the world here look at that can you imagine? Like seriously, how lucky am I to just 
Look at that out my front door. Wow. Even again, it looked really good out here and then I started setting up and it's like a storm coming in. So let's get this footage shot quick. Aircraft warming up. I am you initializing safe to fly non GPS. We have to let the GPS find its place. Wow. Anyways, let's take off. Let's take off and see what happens. Okay, so there's our drone. Let's hit the record button. And we're switching to the live video feed from the drone. All right, well there, there is a 18 minute flight. Uh, we went way over there to those trees, way up high, we went like, I think it was 80 meters, and then uh, aircraft battery was low, so we landed it, but no crashes. The SD card filled up while I was flying it, and uh, so I didn't get all the footage I just took from my flight, but it's pretty cool. This thing is pretty cool. Check out the gimbal on there. This thing is insane. Anyways guys, um, hope you enjoyed the video. Just something kind of fun. And I uh, thought it would be fun to share it with you. So thanks for watching guys, cheers.